This is table 8-2, the cross section of the spinal cord. So our central canal is right smack dab in the middle, right there. And this is where our CSF fluid goes through. And we've talked about the posterior median sulcus. So here is our spinous process on our vertebrae. And so that clues us in that this is our backside. This is our posterior side. So here we have our posterior median sulcus. And then in the front here, we have the anterior median fissure. And when I took anatomy, I took it down in Provo, but they would say that American Fork girls have PMS. So AMF, PMS, that's how you can kind of remember, anterior median fissure, posterior median sulcus. Now coming off of our posterior side here, so I'm gonna kind of turn this around. So we can see coming off the posterior side, here we have these dorsal rootlets or posterior roots, rootlets. And then over on this side here, we can see the rootlets turn into a root right here. So here's our root. And then that root will go into a giant bulge right here, which is called our dorsal root ganglion. Now on the ventral side, we, we have rootlets and then a root that kind of squeezes right next to that ganglion, um, which is really small. But no, no ganglion on the ventral side, just on the dorsal side. Now our gray matter is actually not really gray in this depiction or this model, but we have back to finding posterior and anterior. Here's our spinous process. So remember, this is the back side. This is the front side or anterior posterior. So in our gray matter, we have the posterior horn and then we have the ventral horn and then we have the lateral horn kind of on this outside. And then they communicate through this portion in the middle here called the gray commissure. And if you remember, here we have that central canal again. And white matter here, this is all our white matter. So for the spinal cord, our white matter is on the outside, the gray matter is on the inside. And if you remember, that's opposite on the brain. But our white matter here, we have the posterior white columns or funiculus. And then we have the anterior white columns or funiculus and then the lateral white columns out here. Now our spinal meninges and spaces. So going from outside to inside. So our epidural space is actually going to be found out here. And this is this space with lots of fat in it. This is where you would get a shot when you're having, um, where they would put that medicine in an epidural when you're having a baby, so right in there. Then we have this layer right here that I'm pointing to. And if you can see, there's a line right there. That line is separating two layers. So this outer layer here is called the dura mater. And then this, this line that's in between the two layers is our subdural space. Then this layer here, we have the arachnoid matter. And sometimes the arachnoid matter really has, is like spider web like, like the brain, where it has these spaces that fill in. And then the subarachnoid space kind of fills in where the substance isn't. So this depiction doesn't show what a true arachnoid matter is acting like and behaving like, but it would be very similar to what we saw in the brain. Then we have the pia mater right here, which is right around the spinal cord, right on top of it. So you can see that white matter or pia mater. 